That's Mayor Bill de Blasio. I'm in the SUS program, right? I've been here for over... I told you since 2010, I've been with the SUS program. 2011. This is when I got the transitional apartment program. Um, I told you the broadcast has been running ever since then. It's been running before then. Um, I'm not trying to put nobody on blast. Like, I don't know me at the Bill de Blasio personally. But if you ever look at my program, SUS... Um, in 2018, I was, I ran out of my apartment because of the broadcast. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I was trying to escape, basically, because they were trying to kill me. Um, I had came into some money. Things wasn't going right. I was having them smells in my house. I didn't know that it was coming in my apartment, poisoning my food, and making me not eat the little... <laughs> you are here from my voice because I've been smoking a little bit. I'm kind of stressed. I'm a smoker. Right. I was in the park over there near City Hall. The broadcast was on. They were saying how I'm supposed to be obsessed with Mayor Bill de Blasio. It's crazy. I don't know where this come from. But I was just there reading the stuff about the um the first water well in New York and reading about the black suffrage. Um how they found this in, I think it was 1999 or 98, if I'm not mistaken. They found bones of slaves and whatever. And they commemorated it all in the park. And they have like this little square thing where you go around and you can read the stuff. So I come back from my episode. And the faces of my program is now Bill de Blasio and his wife on the SUS program website. So, I know that people hack and they do things, but it feels sort of personal for me. Because I told you I was targeted for married men at a point in my life. And here it is, someone in the upper at ch- upper field of life tapping into my Nora Monison or just the gang stalkers fucking around my head. So... This is really making it really hard for me. And this is why I say I don't know how far this goes up the food train. Because I'm really just a regular girl from Brooklyn. I've had hard times, like I mentioned in my other video. From when I was a baby. From now, I'm now 40 years old. And look at how far my targeting is going. (laughs) It's going so far where my life is... Like, they need to get rid of me so they think, you know, excuses to live a better life. Which, and if you're going to live your life, you're going to live your life regardless of who live in their lives. So, I be feeling some type of way. Because now that I know about the voice to school technology, and like I said, they have other technologies where only you can hear what they're saying. And the voice of God technology and the war, you know, I feel like I'm a citizen here, and I'm, I'm in America. Um, hypnosis is legal to hypnotize somebody. Um, also, the voice of God technology is here, and I feel like I'm in a civil war with my state. But not in a physical war where there are bullets flying all over the place. But in a mental broadcast, neuromonitoring way. Um, I'm still suffering from, it's not suffering because I'm over it, but from the dream modulations. I told you that they're trying to dumb me down. I never really tested my IQ, so I don't know how smart I could have been. In life, but I know that I've been constantly abused by family members, friends. And I no longer want to accept it anymore. It caused me to be in jail numerous times. This is not minority report when people are provocateurs and they provoking you. 
I feel I'm being set up. I don't know what I'm saying right now is going to bring anybody joy to their life or make somebody wake up and see what's going on in the world. Um, in my last video, I don't know, I'm just awake right now and I'm kind of tired. Not a fighting because I just began to fight. I don't want to fight physically. I'm just reaching out. I, I ask the people who created this program to help me to just just be myself. I don't really want to connect to other people. I just want to be myself. I just want to work, and I want to be happy. I went through so much of suffering as a child, and I'm, I'm this age, over 35, and now I'm more wiser where I know what is going on. So it's like, why can't I end my own suffering? But I guess, not guess, it's a fact. They so used to seeing me going through stuff that they don't know how to see me not go through the things that they put me through, basically. Because I wake up good every day. Through the broadcast, it's interrupting my life. And I'm not a girl interrupted, but I might be a girl interrupted. Watch that video. It's a really good video. A movie. Later, peoples. I'm still in the fight.